Hi, I'm Steve, and today we're going to learn how to recognise equivalent fractions. Let's get started. First, let's connect with what we already know. We're asked to shade half of this shape, which has been divided into eight equal parts. Some of you may know that one half of eight is four, that's right, so we need to shade four of the parts. Some of you may be able to see that the whole shape can be divided in half along this horizontal line or along this vertical line. If we shade four of the parts, we can be sure we shaded half. So I'm going to choose these four parts. Let's check. Amazing. Now we can discover how we can recognize equivalent fractions. Idris has started to build a fraction wall. He says four equal parts are the same as one whole. And we're asked to complete this fraction wall. The fraction wall has some of its labels missing. And we have two choices here. Looking at the fraction wall, we can see that the whole has been divided into four equal parts. Which of these labels represents one out of four? Well, it's this fraction here, which has a one above the line, the numerator, and a four below the line, which we call the denominator. So this fraction we call one quarter. And each of these parts is one quarter. The other label has a four over a four, four out of four, or four quarters. Well, four quarters labels the whole amount. Do you agree? Let's see if we're right. Yes, we are. So the fraction wall shows that four quarters make the whole amount. I'm asked to choose the number statement that shows four quarters equals one whole. Let's quickly check the fraction wall again. Well, four quarters equals one. Four quarters is the same as one. So let's choose this option. Great, we earned another star. A fraction is equivalent to one whole when the numerator is the same as the denominator. Do you remember what those words mean? The numerator is the number above the line, and the denominator is the number below the line. Idris says, I know that two halves make one whole, and four quarters make one whole. The numerator and denominator is the same in both two halves and four quarters. Why is that? Well, let's look at these shapes. Both show the whole amount shaded. This one has two halves shaded, two out of two. And this one has four quarters shaded, four out of four. Now this could help us, because we're now asked to complete a fraction wall, which shows a whole bar, but split into two equal parts and four equal parts. And we've got some labels here. Well, we know that this is one whole amount, so let's put the one here. And then it's been divided into two equal parts here. So I think that we can label that as one out of two, or one half, and one half. That's a half of the whole, that's a half of the whole. And that leaves us with four equal parts, so each one of those must be one quarter. Let's check. Superb. The fraction wall shows one half is the same as two quarters. So two quarters is equivalent to one half. Great job. Now let's explore some different equivalent fractions with Ada. Ada's fraction wall shows thirds quarters and fifths. How confident are you feeling today about thirds and fifths? I can tell you that one third is one out of three equal parts. So this fraction labels these parts here. See the whole has been divided into three equal parts. 
and this is the fraction one third. The row with quarters has already been labelled. So which of these labels do you think will fit for the bottom row? How many equal parts have we got? One, two, three, four, five. So each one is one out of five parts, which is this fraction here. Each one is one fifth. Are we correct? Indeed we are. And we have another star. Our last task is to choose three fractions that are equivalent to one whole. You may remember that we learnt that a fraction that's equivalent to one whole has something special about the numerator and denominator. That's right, they will be the same number. So we can check with the fraction more and see that five fifths is the same or equivalent to one whole. And I can see five fifths right there. There are two more fractions shown here that are equivalent to one whole. Can you spot them? Check the description box below to see if you're right. If you enjoyed this video and would like to try some more questions, create an account to try Doodle Maths for free. Visit doodlelearning.com or click on the link in the description box below. For more maths guides like this, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.